this 10 kilo ohm resistor is now replaced with a 5.6k hot air I have now removed or 21 which goes from AVCC to PB4 underscore meso so that's the line uh, that's the resistor it's a 10 kilo ohm resistor I have removed it now and I'll put a lower value to repair this uh, microphone uh, problem okay I had a 5.6k uh, resistor I used that one and I did not want to put uh, any stress on the pads this is a through hole component I didn't have an SMD this is all 0201 very small and I didn't have it in stock so until I get the SMD this is just a trial instead of soldering the wires directly and then you know stressing the pads there I had a single strand uh, you know wire which I normally use for wire wrapping uh, technique I use that one and then soldered the uh, resistor on the other end so this is how it is uh, <laughs> looks odd but at least it is safe that way the pads are safe now even if it works even if I don't get the SMD I will put a capped on tape on the PCB here and then stick it stick this resistor there or maybe I'll stick this resistor to the speaker which comes on top so that way there is no stress on the wire and it should work let me try it out now okay I have now connected the micro SDX to my setup here with the power meter and uh, connected to a dummy load and you can see the resistor here which is still dangling I have not stuck it to anything and all the plugs are connected now this is the speaker microphone this is the DC jack and the antenna and the uh, and, uh, amp amp keying so that's what and now I am in CW mode I'm in iambic I'm, I'm using a key here so I'm, I'm just at 12 words per minute Okay, so that works. Now I'll switch over to LSB. Since it is already connected, so this is the microphone. So it is transmitting. There is an LED inside this microphone. In fact, I disconnected, I removed the resistor that was connecting it. When we connect the microphone, speaker microphone, in iambic mode CW iambic mode the DAW and DIT lines are shorted with this 1 kilo ohm uh, resistor through this uh, LED through the LED and through this 1 kilo ohm the DAW and DIT line are connected essentially uh, this is a positive and then it will conduct definitely and that's a 1 kilo ohm although the DIT line is not grounded until we press the PTT so the LED is not lighting up because of that but however since we have this 1 kilo ohm and the LED that is a connection between the DAW line and the DIT line I think that is what is causing the problem as you can see it's a 1 kilo ohm resistor so this resistor if I remove I think it should work well I hope you can see this now I removed the 1k resistor that was here now it is lying here I just removed it and with that the only problem or the only thing that can happen now is that the LED will not light up when we press the PTT but that should not be a problem I don't need the LED at all to press uh, when I press the PTT so that will not work otherwise the microphone with the CW in iambic mode should work with this resistor removed. Let us try it out now. This concludes uh, the test. Now I'm going to stick back, uh, I'm sorry, stick the dangling resistor, uh, secure it well so that it doesn't interfere with anything and let me test it for a while and see how it uh, works. As a temporary measure, this is how I have secured the resistor, the through-hole resistor using Kapton tape. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.